we've lived here for thousands of years. We've been hunting the whale for 2,000 years. The center of our lives has always been whaling. We have whale bones everywhere. The evidence shows that we've been very successful here. We've always believed that the whale gives itself to us. Um, we've never hunted the whale, but the whale gave itself to us. 1849, um, the commercial whalers started catching these whales and they started rendering the oil. And they were getting 100 barrels of oil from this one whale. The whole world depended on whale oil back in the 1840s, right up until the turn of the century. They could whale all day long. It, it didn't get dark. It was like they struck a, you know, oil, you know, I mean, whale oil. And they depleted the animals. Then they saw all these walruses, millions of walruses laying all over the beach. But walrus were smaller than the whales. They had to catch more walruses to make, you know, fill up their barrels. The world needed oil. You know, the population of Point Up was like 4,000 people. With the commercial whalers coming in and depleting the animals, whole communities were dying, starving. The population of Point Up was down to 126 people from 4,000. They discovered oil crude oil in the ground, which um, they didn't need whale oil anymore. The whaling industry died, you know. And then it was, the natives were by themselves again. And the population of Point Hope came back up. Today we're at about 900 people in our community. Virtually all of the Beaufort and Chukchi Sea has been zoned for industrial use for the oil and gas industry. Here they are going into this last fantastic frontier and homeland of Inupiat people with very aggressive plans to exploit more fossil fuels. This offshore development plan should probably be called the polar bear and walrus extinction plan. Basically, it's a blank slate in terms of science for places like the Chukchi Sea. What we do know is that it's probably the most productive high latitude sea on the planet. In the Chukchi, in the Beaufort, there's a 30 to 50 percent chance that there will be a major oil spill. Uh, and if there is a major oil spill, that one of these communities will likely lose its subsistence resources and that there will be major cultural and environmental justice impacts. If you told me I was going to walk out the door and be run over by a car and there was a 30 to 50 percent chance that was going to happen, I'd probably stay home that day. 